Hey Steve here and today I have a really quick video for you. It's the next in my series of processing subscribers images. This one today that I'm going to be showing you has been sent in to me by Banu Devgan so apologies if I pronounced the name wrong there. Um, but Banu sent this image in to me and uh, he gave me the notes that at the time the image had been captured it was very misty and he wants to retain the mist while highlighting the birds so that's what I'm going to show you today and it's going to be a really quick couple of uh, adjustments. Now before we get started if you'd like to submit an image to me for an upcoming video similar to this one if there's something specific that you want me to uh, help you with with a particular image of yours then on YouTube I'll put a link just in the video description so you can click that and it will take you to a form where you can just go and upload your files to me and um, yeah I can't promise to get to every image but I'll do my very best so feel free to send your images through with notes about what you'd like to see me uh, help you with but for now let's crack on with this uh, what I think is going to be a really quick couple of uh, instructions we can see here the image has uh, yeah, we can see clearly it's very very low contrast and so the highlights are very low the uh, shadows are very high there's not any pure blacks in the image really and if we look at the histogram we can see that the whole image is all bunched up in this middle third of the histogram so the way that we are going to kind of stretch that histogram out so that we've got some decent shadows and decent highlight detail is first of all with the levels adjustment and the reason I'm using levels instead of curves here uh, will become apparent in just a moment um, so all we're going to do uh, first is take this uh, black point control point and just slide it all the way up to the start of the data in the histogram there and then we're going to do the same thing the opposite way for the uh, for the white point now I can see that's increased the contrast but the image is sort of a little bit dark and muddy still so I'm going to take the uh, the uh, midpoint here and just slide it towards the left to just brighten those uh, shadows a little bit and so you can do the same thing with the shadows and the highlights with the curves adjustment but here just having this uh, this midpoint this gamma uh, control point and just being able to slide it left and right that's why I'm choosing levels this time so I'm just going to uh, do this by eye until it kind of gives us a nice bright vibrant but still nice and contrasty uh, image all right so now if we look at the histogram we can see that that's kind of stretched everything out now you can't really see it as well here but we've got data all the way from the shadows all the way to the highlights there and the reason it sort of goes uh, really low and then it's just a really small amount there is because we've got a lot of uh, bright white highlights in the image so that sort of corresponds with this thin line down here in the uh, in the levels properties panel so we could in theory push this all the way up here to the start of where the data gets really steep and the image becomes a lot brighter but then uh, the only problem with going past where that data is in the histogram in the uh, properties panel is that we're actually clipping those brightest highlights so if I hold alt or option we can see that all of those areas that are white now have actually been overexposed so you can choose to mask those out of this adjustment if you want but for now I think it's it's good enough if we just leave it here and we don't clip those to begin with so that was quite a big explanation um, let me just show you how quick this actually would be if you were going to do this yourself so let me delete that and start again so let's add a levels adjustment and we're just going to grab this control point and take it to the top end of the histogram this one take it to the bottom end and then just adjust this middle one towards the left and so you know it's done this in a way that the contrast is much much better in the image but we've still got that kind of misty effect we haven't eliminated the mist which is what you know if, uh, if you use the new dehaze slider in camera raw or in uh, in Lightroom then you know, it's going to try to eliminate all of the uh, all of the mist that Banu is actually trying to keep in the image so that's why I think this is probably the best way to uh, to approach this now if you're a user of my luminosity masking panel 
then there is an even quicker way of uh, making this well a very similar adjustment uh, so let me just delete that and start again now so under the light section in the panel um, we've got a bunch of different contrast adjustments that we can make and number three if we just hit that once that is going to give us a very similar levels adjustment by default um, you know to what we just created manually so it's basically added that levels adjustment and it's moved those control points in the right direction for us now in this instance it hasn't quite gone as far as we want with the midpoint control point so we'll just push that back up again but yeah that's just another hint there for those of you who are watching this who use my luminosity masking panel that is an ideal candidate or well, this image is the ideal kind of image to use a uh, the number three here on the levels contrast section now if we actually wanted to make these birds stand out even more than they do now we can still add a bit more contrast to them uh, this time I will use a curves adjustment rather than levels because we can just create a simple S curve that is going to give us a nice amount of contrast and brightness in those birds uh, without uh, overexposing the highlights so let's just tweak that a little bit so the birds are nice and bright there now yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, we sort of could leave it there, or if we wanted to mask this in uh, only into those birds, then we could invert the layer mask. So Command or Control I on the curves one adjustment layer mask, and then take the uh, brush tool with a white color foreground, and then we can just brush this effect in to where the birds are. I'm just going to do a really quick job on this. You can uh, check out one of my other layer masking videos if uh, you know if you want to go into a bit more detail on how to actually mask this a bit more effectively than what I'm showing right now but you know that's something that you can do if you wanted to kind of isolate those birds and make them stand out compared to the background and you know that's going to leave a lot more of that misty effect in the foreground and the background so just toggling that off and on we can see there the birds are just getting that little pop of brightness and contrast now from here we could potentially go further and process this uh, you know, and get, get a bit more contrast into the image but I think if we just compare the before and after on these two adjustments then we can see that's already a quite a drastic improvement uh, that we've been able to uh, create just really really quickly so yeah anything beyond here is really just personal taste you know you can increase the contrast like i said to give it a bit more pop or maybe if uh, if we just add a curves adjustment here we can put a bit of uh, a bit more blue into the highlights i think that might help the uh, the image there just a little bit more blue in the highlights um yeah i think that it's just got a little bit of a green sort of muddy color cast to it which is probably authentic uh, you know it's probably how the scene actually really was but I think just a little bit of blue uh, in the highlights would help um, just kind of make it pop a little bit more uh, I'm not sure maybe we can reduce greens you'd have to be very careful with any color adjustments here because the colors in the image are so kind of neutral any little nudge in any of the color channels here are going to you know any little nudge is going to make a big difference so I think for this just removing a bit of green and putting a bit of blue into the highlights I think that's where I would leave this shot for now and then um, yeah hopefully for uh, for Banu that has uh, helped you to figure out you know how to get the best out of this image from here obviously you can carry on and process it uh, to your heart's content but this really is the bulk of the uh, the required effort and so with that said thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'll see you in the next one